Capricorn. Welcome to your December 2024 general tarot reading. My name is Stacy. All right, Capricorn, let's take a shuffle here and see what energies might be coming down the pipe for you this month. Keep in mind, these are general, general readings. So as always, Capricorn, take what resonates and leave the rest. I do not anticipate these readings will resonate with each and every one of you. If you'd like a personal reading tailored to you, for you, all about you, you can get in touch with me on my website. And I'll be sure to put the link to that in the description box below. All right, Capricorn. Also, thank you so much for liking and sharing out my content. I greatly appreciate it. And also, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel as well. So thank you so much for the love and the support, Capricorn. I'm sending that back to you tenfold. So thank you so much for that. Also, don't forget, you can watch for your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, or any other planet placement or point that you have in the sign of Capricorn that you'd like to watch for. And you can pull all this information together for you to give you a high level overview of the month ahead. Also Capricorn, before I forget, if you are celebrating a birthday this month, I want to wish you a fantastic year ahead. And also just a reminder, you have a Capricorn. We have a Capricorn new moon on December the 30th. So this is your new moon Capricorn. So regardless of when your birthday is, and if you're watching for your rising or sun sign, uh, this would be the day. So on or after December the 30th to set those new moon intentions, uh, those birthday wishes, I should say. Now, the cool thing about this is it kind of aligns with the new year. If you do follow the new year calendar, <laughs> the January 1st. I'm just thinking of people setting those um, New Year intentions, resolutions, whatever you call them. But anyway, I think it's kind of cool that, you know, your moon this year lands on um, the end of the year, quite literally. So again, this is your new moon Capricorn. So take advantage of the energy and set those birthday wishes for again, the next six to 12 months, whatever you're called to do Capricorn. Okay, so you got some beautiful cards here, Cap. Wheel of Fate, Destiny, Fortune is turning in your favor, Capricorn. I feel like paired with the Four of Swords, this is like a faded break, a faded vacation, a faded PTO day, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, Capricorn. But this is definitely, first of all, asking you to take a break this month, if you can. I know you are the sign. Look at this. I almost started laughing. You know, these two court cards came out. I thought that's kind of funny. It's like work, 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 work. Capricorn. I know you are the sign of work and success and entrepreneurship and business owners, and you're going to work through Christmas and stuff like that. But this is telling me something different. Take a break, or maybe some of you already have taken a break and that's kind of carrying into the month of December. That could be a possibility as well. But again, paired with the wheel of fortune, this is faded. This is like a faded break. You're being nudged almost to your knees to take a break, Capricorn. So please heed that call. Also, do not ignore health issues this month, Capricorn. Not the best time to ignore that as well and continue to plow through. Um, can you do it? Sure, yep, you got some strong cards here. But again, um, I feel like there's some sort of fate knocking or nudging you to kind of take that break. Also, the Wheel of Fortune card represents Jupiter. So Jupiter right now is transiting your sixth house, not really making any direct aspects to you, Capricorn. But being in the sixth house, this is opportunities coming back from the past. And again, Jupiter is retrograde. So that means taking a break, taking a step back, reassessing what work means to you or what retirement means to you or what hobbies mean to you or what do you want to do moving into the new year what steps do you want to take what do you want to change what whatever work means for you capricorn if you're a business owner do you want to restructure is there a reorg at the top of your mind do you want to change around the workplace like move desks around change change the chi change the energy like feng shui it Capricorn so that's probably not a bad idea either to help your staff succeed as well to help your people your team whatever succeed as well Capricorn so I love this I love 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 it okay now these two gentlemen here I mean you really could attack I mean what am I supposed to say here or what am I going to say here 
it's hard to attach sex to these cards. There we go. Um, but yeah, when I picked up these cards, definitely heavy uh, male type of energy, like yang energy. But again, take it as they, them, he, her, whatever. Um, but definitely yang type of energy here, meaning taking action, moving forward with somebody, partnering with somebody. Um, this is definitely business. Business, business, business. Like I said, I almost, I chuckled a little bit when I saw these cards. I'm like, oh yeah, this is so Capricorn. Because um, there you are, Capricorn. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, whatever. That's your, that's your energy. I love the King of Cups. For those of you open to meeting someone new, love it. Love it, love it, love it. If there's love coming on, coming in this month, Capricorn, and you're single and looking for love, it could be full on. You could meet somebody fantastic. You know, the court cards are very mature people. The kings and the queens and the deck maturity is coming in. Maturity is coming into this relationship. Whereas the pages and the knights are a little bit more, um, well, they're, they're telling me fluffy bunny. I didn't want to say fluffy bunny, but I mean, um, I guess they're more immature and energy where this is mature, incredible energy coming in. And again, it could be a male or female or they, them, apply this to your life. Capricorn, but I love this. Now, this could also be offers coming back around from the past. This could also be something to do with real estate, buying, selling property, real estate, changes in the home, restructuring the home, um, renovating the home. Again, feng shui your home, Capricorn. If you want to call in more success and abundance while you're sitting at home taking your PTO, <laughs> vacation, whatever, resting, um, feng shui your home. Get rid of clutter, get rid of things, dust, clean, so you can welcome in that new energy, especially around your new moon at the end of the month there. Really good time to clean up your living space, your workspace, your work office, your actual physical office if you work outside of the home. Yeah, bring in, call in that new energy, Capricorn. I think that's going to be really nice. Also, you could meet somebody at work as well. Yeah, whoever this is that's coming in, and again, if, if love doesn't resonate, take this as like a business partnership or a client coming in, like you landing a serious, mature client that knows what they want, probably high expectations, but you, I mean, out of all the people, Capricorn, you know you can handle it, so. Okay. So something is coming in quite rapidly at the end of the month here. Now, I love, so it's paired with these two cards. I like this. I love these two cards. So this is the 1111 card Capricorn, or I call it the 1111 card, the 401. So this is being on the right path, being in the right place at the right time. This is also could be quite literally weddings and celebrations. Maybe somebody, <laughs> I'm going to throw it out there Capricorn just in case um because this card is connected this could be like surprise pregnancies surprise weddings uh surprise go to las vegas and get married type of energy eloping um destination weddings could be on the menu but whatever this is it's some sort of shocking news coming in also there could be changes to the top of the food chain so if you do work for you know corporate America or corporate Canada or whatever the government or um, where there's like a ranking system. I don't know. Somebody at the top might be leaving uh, quite suddenly. And then again, that cascades down, right? So there could be opportunities to move up that corporate ladder is kind of what I'm getting at. But I love these cards. Yeah. New beginnings in heart home again we talked about real estate property moving you could find the perfect home capricorn or or rental situation again apply this to your life uh pregnancy new family members marriages contracts agreements negotiations and again something's going to come in pretty quick yeah don't take this as negative this is this is just the mars card mars is retrograde so again mars and mercury re are retrograde this month so this could be opportunities coming back around from the past. If I didn't already mention that with Jupiter going retrograde, Jupiter is also retrograde in your work sector. Um, and see Mars will be going back and forth uh, from your eighth to your seventh house of partnerships. So 
if you, um, yeah, this could be clients, business contracts, just things coming back from the past in a good way. But yeah, this is new beginnings. I love, I love these two cards. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you find out this month, like of surprise pregnancies or weddings or eloping or something like that. This could be you or somebody else, Capricorn. Uh, I'm just curious because it is attached to these cards here. Wonderful energy coming in for you this month, Capricorn. Look at this. Ending of a difficult cycle. Hello, Pluto moving on. Goodbye. Um, this could also indicate traveling as well. Look at this. Sun. This is the bottom of your deck that I'm pulling. Love it. Capricorn. Yeah, if you're like in entrepreneurship, it's like full on in the new year. Full on. Yeah. Abundance and prosperity is coming in. Love it, Capricorn. Love it. What a way to start your birthday cycle. Like, even if you don't have a birthday this month, it the sun, as soon as the sun pops into Capricorn, depending on what you're watching for, of course, but even if it's your if you're Capricorn rising, you're gonna feel this. When the when the sun touches your rising, your moon, your sun, it re-energizes you from the inside out and it kind of puts you in the spotlight. And again, you're starting a brand new 12-month cycle. So I love this. What a way to start December, uh, Capricorn. Love it for you. Love This is definitely hands down one of the better readings um, that I've seen so far this month, but I haven't done all the signs. But anyway, Capricorn, I'm going to pull a couple angel answer cards here for you. So hold a question or a situation in your mind's eye. Uh, if you want to pause the video, you can do that now. And we will take a shuffle here and see what the angels have to say. Oh, I'm going to take that card because it flew out. But just give me a second here. I want to pull these other ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> Capricorn, within the next few months, within the next few months, you have Remain Positive. I love that card. You have a Yes answer. And you have Success. And I also have to show you this because we talked about this. Taking action, right? The two um, male energy court cards yang energy taking action on something or a situation putting yourself out there capricorn if you're looking for new clients new networks new whatever put, you know pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone i love this i love it when the cards kind of like show up as those dual messages so um capricorn again yeah very strong reading very powerful month ahead uh let me know what that tower card is let me know the changes um, or possibly challenges that are coming in at the end of the month. Because again, change can sometimes be difficult, right? Uh, but it's paired with really nice energy. So Capricorn, enjoy the month ahead. Have a wonderful holiday season if you do celebrate the holidays. Otherwise, we'll see you back here in the new year. Bye for now.